There's trouble brewing around once again in Twitter.com, specifically in the commentary community, uh, partaking in the sussy X with minors, if you know what I mean by that, which you probably do if you've been watching me for a while. But yes, very unfortunate sussy situations between an 18-year-old and a 14-year-old. Now, I am not 100% sure if this individual is a commentary YouTuber or just does commentary tweets on Twitter, but this person goes by the name of Vex. Um, I think before all of this, I was following them. I can't check now because they are uh, privated. Uh, they locked their account for obvious reasons. Uh, but they've been outed out for having uh, very unsavory conversations uh, with a minor. Kind of like the pyrocynical situation. Which is, again, very extremely unfortunate. I believe this entire situation started off from this tweet right here. I believe this is the person um, who is talking, who is the blue text right here. You, as you can see, you know, they're talking. Um, he, he is, or they are, I don't know. Uh, he's 16. Very, you know, that's not, a, that's not a good age to be talking in a very unfortunate manner to an individual like that. But as you continue on, they seem... A little horny, okay. Vix here seems like they wanna they wanna talk a little bit in a sussy manner, okay. Uh, but they notice that yeah, yeah, he's 16, okay, and they're like, oh, I'm so sad, boohoo. But then, but then Vix continues on, and maybe some kisses too. Unfortunate, okay. It all starts with kissing. It starts with the kissing, and then the next thing you know, you're in prison. <laughs> And here's the final message right here. Uh, Vix was kind of left on red. And, uh, you know, it's like, I'm traveling now. It's like, oh, okay, it's okay. But it gets worse, ladies and gentlemen, because there were some DMs released from Discord of Vix having a more explicit talk with another individual. Maybe it's the same individual as this. It could be someone else, but um, it, I'm going to assume it's the same person, but it's it's really bad. So this is the tweet right here that is extremely unfortunate. 14-year-old and 18-year-old talking about thingy inside their throat. What the fuck? And then, as you can see right here, I could read this for you. Uh, let's just read, like, this un until right here. Looks up and caresses your tummy. You make me feel good. I... What? What? AWA uh, takes your thingy inside my throat and doesn't take it out, but moves it inside my throat roughly. So you get the picture, all right? I'm already starting to want to gag from reading that kind of shit, you know? You feel me? It's just like, no, it's not, it's not kosher at all. This is absolute garbage, all right? Like, you, just from reading this, like, y'all can read this, all right? Like, I'll, I'll give you a second to read this. Let me give you my thoughts on this. This is terrible, all right? This is absolutely garbage. I understand, okay? You, you kind of, you get that feeling, you know, of you know, the sussiness, right? But if you want to be sussy, be sussy with someone your own age, okay? Have the common decency, have the responsibility to ask someone, Hey, are you this age? Are you above 18? And they, they tell you, yes, I am 18 or older. Cool, great. Be the absolute degenerate you want, okay? Uh, scratch that itch. But if they're below 18, don't talk to them like that. Like, God. Damn, people. Look, it's a very dangerous game to even do this in the first place, okay? Yes, you can do it, right? Again, you just gotta make sure you do everything in your power to not be talking in that way to a minor. But even still, ladies and gentlemen, they could be lying to you. Someone could say, yeah, I'm 21, but they're actually, like, what, 16? You're gonna get fucked if later on they come out to say, oh, I was actually 16 and this person grouped me. It, it, you're, you're screwed. You are screwed. All right. So in my opinion, in my opinion, even though being a degenerate isn't inherently evil or terrible, it can lead you to extremely unfortunate situations, especially on the internet. So if I were you, just don't, don't do it. Just don't do it. Just look at porn people. Come on now. Just look at porn. You'll be fine. You will be okay. All right, you will be all right. Because if you do this kind of stuff, you will put yourself at risk and you will put someone else at risk as well. Just look at Vix, all right? They literally knew the age and were like, I don't care, I'm gonna be lewd, disgusting, absolutely terrible. But with all this being said, ladies and gentlemen, this begs the question, does this make Vex a sussy baka? Or 
a P word. You probably already know the YouTuber by the name of Pie Man. You know, he's made a lot of uh, videos that really stuck out to a lot of people. Uh, Pie Man and another individual called Bunk made a Google document, which for me always has a really bad stigma to them. <laughs> and just, just remembering back to the whole Turkey Tom situation, it's just like, ah, the Google doc. You know shit's about to get real. All right, you know sh the shit hit the fan when someone makes a Google document. All right, it's and then like fucking John Swan, Jesus Christ. But anyways, they made a a Google document claiming that um, that Vex is actually not a sussy baka. Okay, because what they're doing is not illegal per se. Uh, let me just go ahead and read this document for you. Actually, how long is this? The document is 27 pages long, so what I'm gonna do is probably just read like one or two, uh, but then also leave a link to this document in the description of this video so you can read it over yourself. Uh, but yeah, just read two pages and I think we'll, we'll be good here. Disclaimer, make your own conclusions to this evidence. Something can be morally wrong without being illegal and vice versa. You can find whatever you want, weird or cringy, but these are allegations and must be taken seriously. Again, make your own conclusions and read the entire document before doing so. Vex was born on uh, the 23rd of 2003, making her 18 years old. Recently, she has been accused of grooming. And then here's the tweet right here. You can read those yourselves more tweets right here of uh, people I guess talking about the situation calling her you know very unfortunate names which is very understandable so this part right here is pretty important Vex had sexual conversations with a small commentary Twitter user named Core formerly Desi Core says the DMs were consensual and she doesn't believe she was manipulated although Vex purposely withheld the fact that she was 18 uh, and then here's the DMs right here where you know they're just talking and then just it gets a little get a little sassy getting a little too much if you know what I mean just a little unfortunate Shenandoahs, but again, I will leave the. Oh my god. Okay, so I can. Okay, okay. I understand now. I understand why this is such a long document because there's, there's a lot of evidence, a lot of screenshots and stuff like that. Understandable. The age of consent in Canada, where Vix lives, is 16. Although minors from 14 to 16 years old can consent to partners up to five years older than. Core lives in Minnesota and is currently 15, being born January 2006 in Minnesota. The age of consent is 16. Despite this, there are exceptions to this law, and someone under the age of 16, but above Above the age of 14 may engage in sexual contact short of uh, penetration with the partner is not in a position of authority or more than four years older than them okay but this, the, yeah you get it you get it all right let's not let's not get a little too much into it but yeah you get it but again I would highly recommend y'all go and read pie man's documents and again you'll have to come up to your own conclusions even after reading this uh, but I believe from what I'm reading here he doesn't think that Vex is either a you know a, 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 the G word or the P word uh, from what I've read I could be wrong but again it is in the description of this video so read the document to yourself don't just listen to me read the document but even then after reading the document you can still come up to your own conclusions that's all the information I can share with you at this very moment about this very unfortunate situation with the Vex uh, allegations I feel like I'm saying that name wrong for some reason uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below do you think uh, Vex is somehow the, the sussy baka the the p word the g word or do you think you know they're not but i think we can all agree that talking to a minor in this way is wrong you should not do it okay it's just not kosher you can't do that kind of stuff online people all right don't be sussy with minors that should be like the a golden rule of the internet all right, fuck everything else. Focus on that one goddamn rule and you'll be fine, all right? Don't be sussy towards minors. And you will, you will go far. If you follow that rule, you will go far. I promise you. All right, that's Rigozin's promise to you. If, you. if you can follow that one golden rule, you'll be fine. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. You want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell notification to be notified of my next video. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.